back home now and detectives have charged three young men in Western Sydney over their alleged involvement in a muscle for hire gang that organised public shootings and kidnappings across the city in recent months. Reporter Charlie Mills joins us now from Sydney. Charlie, what else are these men accused of? Well, Dan, these three young men are facing quite the litany of charges. There's those accusations of home invasion, kidnapping and public shootings that you just mentioned there. But they're also looking at some pretty serious charges of directing and participating in criminal group activities, possession of a weapon, breaking and entering and dealing with the proceeds of a crime. They're also looking at serious drug and assault criminal charges. So police have charged these three men for their alleged role as a, what they've called a freelance gang, muscle for hire, uh, committing activities on behalf of an organised crime network. Uh, they were doing those in Sydney's southwest. So they have arrested three men, two 20-year-olds, one from Fairfield West, the other from Mount Druitt, and an 18-year-old from Lakemba. Uh, detectives are alleging that the 20-year-old from Fairfield West was the leader of this freelance gang and was taking on tasks from serious criminal networks. And just how did these arrests then come about? So the arrests uh, started from uh, an investigation by detectives in the criminal group squad. Uh, they began their investigations in mid-July uh, when there was a public shooting in Austral. Uh, they, were then, uh, they then investigated a home invasion and kidnapping that happened in Edmondson earlier this month. Uh, so detectives executed multiple search warrants early yesterday morning at homes in Fairfield West, Sadly, uh, Mount Druitt, Lakemba and in St Clair. That was at about 6am on Wednesday morning. At those homes, they seized ketamine, weapons and, and knives, uh, as well as some electronic devices and cash and other items which were allegedly stolen during that home invasion. Now, this morning, the criminal group's squad commander has said that they're going to continue to investigate these kind of groups acting on behalf of organised crime networks and that these latest arrests are a major blow to organised crime. All three of those men were refused bail to appear in court yesterday.